But I don't... I'm gonna kill that person. Legitimately, I'm going to kill them. Welcome, hoarders. Today we're going to be playing some more Grand Theft Auto V. And this Testing Tuesday, we are going to be testing the Karen 190Z. Um, I literally just got this the other day. Uh, I've been saving up for a little while. Um, to be fair, this car is way overpriced from what it should be. It should be, obviously, in real life, thirty to 40000 for this. Um, and they're charging $900,000 for this. Which is just nutty, I think. That's way too much. Um, but yes, it is the GTA universe, but whatever. Um, I, I love the car, but not because it's good in this game. Um, the game that I really fell in love with this car with was definitely the crew. Um, I've definitely used it in other games. Um, I believe the first time I ever saw it um, in a game was Midnight Club LA, which I think it was one of my most used cars. Um, I liked it on there, but when we got to the crew, I just used it constantly. I put thousands and thousands of miles on it on that. But I don't... I'm going to kill that person. Legitimately, I'm going to kill them. Um, I don't know. It's not, like, as advertised, I would say. Um, it is a terrible drift car on GTA V. Uh, in real life, it's a good drift car. In the crew, it's a good drift car. Um, in every other game imaginable that this car was ever in, it is a good drift car. But I think the problem with it is the fact that it's... The GTA physics make this car bad. Um, it has too much understeer. Um, too much grip. Like, it doesn't... It's hard to get the back to go out. Um, that's why I say no grip. Um, it also doesn't have enough power to get the back end out. Which is a bit annoying. But... It... it, it honestly, it's a big letdown to me. Um, I really expected it to be a lot better than it actually is. Um, it's not quick. It doesn't have good acceleration. Uh, like I said, steering's not good. It has a lot of understeer. Um, there's just, like, nothing great about it on here, which kind of upsets me because I love this car. Um, I kind of wanted more from it. Um, but that's what we got. <laughs> Uh, the one thing that I was really surprised about is that how much this looks like the Datsun 240Z, um, a.k.a. Uh, later on, it was named the uh, a Nissan Fair Lady 240Z, and there's like other ones, uh, 280, blah, blah, blah. There's several, several. I think the 234 is like the rarest and best of the lot uh, which is the one that they have on the crew I love that one um, but I, there's just something about it on GTA that makes it a terrible car um, I will say this though it's fun to drive it's fun to drive even though it's a bad car it's like like what I would picture like an AMC Gremlin. It wouldn't it's not a great car, but I think it would be fun to drive. Um and that's kind of how this is cuz I just found myself um like not even playing the game when I had this. I was just driving around the map 
which I haven't done in probably over a year. Um, just legitimately, I did like four laps around the map, and it would. I enjoyed it. I this car is good in the sense of what it is, but how it performs is absolutely terrible. Um, I did not really race this. I tried drifting it um, up around the... Uh, oh, I forget what the name of it is. The... The place with the fucking telescope. Up here. Uh... I would go, like, because from what I know, these are some of the best drifting roads up in this area. Um, so I did um, up this way and then up here and made, like, a circle around all that. But it's not, it's not good at doing it because it doesn't have enough power. Um, one of the things I did notice... Um, that is not a thing on many vehicles that I'm aware of. Um, the license plate cover is actually the name of the car. Um, one of the other cosmetic problems with this is the back... I'd say from the bottom, the lowest point of the rear window, um, back, is not the, from the uh, Datsun 240Z. Uh, the tail lights are not correct. The exhausts are not correct. The bumper is very close. Um, I believe the bumper in the real life version is a little bit thicker. Um, I couldn't get the exact rims I wanted, so I picked the uh, type of rims that can come stock on other versions of it. Um, but the ones I wanted, uh, the exact rims I wanted, I'll throw a picture up. Um, cause they're the ones that I wanted on it, but I couldn't get anything close enough. So I went with these ones instead. Um, but I don't know. I, I like, um, I like the way it looks cause I tried to make it look like, uh, one of the stock colors that I had on the crew. Like I just wanted to base this off of the crew. Another thing that's terrible about it is the interior. There is way more wood in this than what there actually is. Um, the steering wheel would not be wood. Um, mostly one strip on the dash and one strip on the doors. But it's like the full door and the full dash is wood. There's way too much in this. Um, can't really think of much more about this. So let's head on over to the test track and see what we can get. Okay, let's see what we can do with this, John. Bring that saying back from the fucking dead. That hasn't been a thing probably four years. <laughs> I feel like an old hag. Um, I think I tried this. It, I, I believe it is rear wheel drive on here, uh, which is accurate. Um, I would actually love to have one of these in real life. It's one of my absolute favorite cars. Um, it is definitely my favorite Nissan. I don't care for like the newer fair ladies. I don't think they look good for some reason. Uh, I, they have like a weird Mazda-ness to them. Like too many curves. I like this. It's so simple and elegant. <laughs> um... Another thing on this that I remember is the brakes aren't great. I don't think I mentioned that uh, during the regular road test. Uh, technically, they're not road tests. It's pretty much the beginning of the video. Um, for those of you have, who are not used to the, my channel, um, I will just talk about my feelings on the car, um, what I've experienced, um, from owning it a couple days prior to the recording. Because um, I like to try them out before I actually put them on the test track. That way, most likely I won't mess up then uh, and have to do multiple takes. But that doesn't stop that from happening. Uh, a lot of the times I do multiple takes with these. Um, that's not a great sign right there. Um, 
usually for these turns, a good sign is that you have to uh, leave off the gas. Don't hit the brakes, but leave off the gas to slow down a tiny bit to coast through those corners. Because if you hold the gas down, you're not going fast enough. Good executed through there. It actually feels like it handles better today than it did yesterday. Um, maybe it's just better at high, high speeds. Because um, I really didn't drive this around the city at high speeds. I pretty much hit the highway and then just went as quick as I could. I could. As quick as I could go. Um, try to stick with the yellow line. See what we got. Not expecting it to be great. Okay, 233.320 seconds. Uh, it doesn't sound extremely good. I'm thinking page four or five. Um, but let's head on over to leaderboard and see where we placed. As you can see, the Karen 190Z did horrific coming in 66th place at 2 minutes 33.320 seconds. Um, that is a very bad time, um, judging just by the looks. But if you judge it by the vehicles around it, it doesn't seem that terrible because the Garotti GT500 uh, is only a couple spaces above that. Um, and it... It's not a that's not that bad of a car, and then the same thing with the Stinger. Um, the bad thing is the Riata, which is an SUV with big, bulky tires, so that does kind of make it look bad. But then you got the Frankenstein and the Warrener and other vehicles that are relatively good, but they're definitely not great. Um, but it the vehicle after driving it for a while, it has something somewhat special about it but performance is definitely not good um which is upsetting about this because it only would have come one, two, three, four. it came in 15 places behind the slowest or 15 places ahead of the slowest vehicle that i've ever tested which Obviously, there's a lot of vehicles I haven't tested that are really slow, um, like the Regina. Um, I don't think I did the Volkswagen bus yet, but those are definitely going to be much slower than this. Um, but the what makes it seem so terrible is the fact that I haven't really tested that many terrible vehicles. I mostly test vehicles that I want to get, or I'm going to keep. I am definitely going to keep this, though. Um, but let's head on over to the drag track and see what we can get with it on that. Okay, let's see what we can get on this one. Uh, I'm thinking... I don't think it's going to do that well, honestly, on this, because the acceleration and the top end are both bad. Um, by feel... I do know for a fact that this is extremely slow on the dirt. I believe it only went 70 miles an hour on dirt, which is like, ugh. especially when you're GTA standards. Okay, what are we gonna get here? Twenty-seven point six three zero seconds. Uh thinking that's going to be on the lower end uh but let's head on over to the leaderboard and see where we placed again the karen 190z appears to have done terrible um obviously coming in 57th place at 27.630 seconds but this one is a little bit different than the other one especially considering it's just a straight shot so this test has like just deals with acceleration and top end speed which i obviously knew uh right off the bat that it didn't have much top end speed or acceleration um but if you look again like at the other vehicles that are uh here it's pretty much all the same vehicles um 
so it kind of lays in that category. Um, if I... The only way that I can really say that you should get this vehicle is because of looks. Um, obviously, it's a beautiful car. Um, it's very iconic. Everyone loves the Datsun 240Z. Um, it also had like, tons of other names, but that's what the car is. Um, it's just an iconic car, and I think that's one of the things, like, the main reasons that other people are going to want to get it. Um, the main reason I wanted to get it was because I loved it in other games, and I loved how it felt to drive. On here, it feels different, but the same kind of at the same time. Um, it has, like, different steering, but it still gives you that feeling of, like, an enjoyable car to drive. Um, but I 100% am going to keep it. Um, I am going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you um, picked something up from it and decided if you want this car or not. Or I helped you decide if you wanted it or not. Or I saved you $900,000. But I'm going to end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to watch one of my previous, next, and related videos. And don't forget to check out my other social medias in the description down below.